Now, a few of you have been curious enough to ask questions like, how do you know a girl has slept with a lot of men? How do you know that this girl, you know, she, she has had so many body counts? And maybe what are the signs to know? Like, if I want to take her seriously, how am I supposed to know if she's still, you know, tight or if she's if she has not been with too many men? A lot of you have questions like that. And the truth of the matter is, you can't really know for sure. Like, there's no way to measure or to tell for sure that a woman has slept with a lot of men. Some people will say loose vagina probably, but we will get into that real soon. So let's talk about some signs that you could see in a woman that will make you understand that a woman has slept with too many men. So hey guys, this is Real Talk with IJ and I'm the girl IJ. On here we talk about all things love, sex and relationship as it concerns the men. I try to help you understand women and a woman's body and try to help you choose the best woman for you all right so in today's video we're talking about signs to know that this girl has slept with too many men so keep watching now before i proceed i want to give a shout out to my nigerian people my ninja people ninja for life okay i want to tell you guys thank you because for the past month i've had my highest uh views from nigerians and even though i know a lot of you can be very biased when it comes to you know getting dating tips from a, a, a woman i am super excited that you guys have shown me love okay so thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it i'm a nigerian girl so i just want to give a shout out to my own people so thank you guys so much and the second country we get the most view from is the united states so guys thank you so much i'll be coming over soon and maybe we'll get to meet in person or we'll get to meet somehow and you know i get to meet you guys and we could have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation properly so let's jump into today's video all right now let's talk about the loose vjj real fast okay let's talk about that one firstly before we move into the other factors that will make you know if a woman has slept with a lot of men now actually it is not 100 percent true that when a woman has a loose vagina it means that she has had too much sex okay you cannot use that to justify that that's why okay now there are a few reasons why a woman will have a loose vjj it could be natural okay some people have a weaker setup okay some people do not really have it as tight as other people so it could just be genetic it could just be natural okay that's why it's not as tight as that sometimes also also it could be because they didn't take care of themselves after childbirth because yes childbirth can cause a little expansion of the area but there are a few things you can do to you know minimize the looseness so you can still do some kegel as a woman and some other things that will help her you know put herself back together some exercises also will help a lot to put her back together and you know like i said it could be childbirth that is the cause of it and not because she has had sex with a lot of people another thing you have to consider also is you who is going into the vjj and i know some of you don't want to hear this but yes actually you might be small for what she has it's not because she is too loose is because you are just too small now yes that is the truth and until you learn to accept this you might not have peace all right now just like how some people have naturally big boobs and small boobs and big ass and small ass a lot of men have big uh, d and small d so you could just be on the downside compared to what she has had so she might have been used to having the extra extra large size so her body has adjusted to that particular size of input okay now you're coming with something smaller or average there's definitely going to be some kind of looseness yeah i think that's a word i don't know <laughs> there could be some kind of you know it could be some kind of loose because what you're coming in with is smaller than what she usually takes so it could be because you're on the smaller size that's why she is now that that's out of the way let's talk about some factors to let you know that a woman has had too much sex with a lot of people firstly she is never satisfied yes if you're with a woman who is like a sex freak or whatever you do she's just not satisfied she wants more and more and more and more and you're you're going and going and going and she just doesn't want to ever stop it could be that it's her first time you know um experiencing sex for a lot of girls the first time we actually do have sex it's really really nice so we want to have it and have it and have it and have it and have it so it could be that but if she's someone who is not really her first time but she's just never satisfied she wants to do it and do it and do it and do it it means that it could mean that it's because she has had a lot of men okay it could be that she has had a lot of men so she's never really satisfied because 
too much of it already so she has tasted everything so there's nothing you're doing that is new or that is really satisfactory to her so that could be one way to tell that this girl has had a lot of it and the second way to know that a woman might have had too much sex or had too many partners is she's an expert in the game yes she is a very good at having sex she knows all the styles she knows all the tricks she is even the one positioning and repositioning you and what you guys are doing like she's an she's a pro she is a pro she knows everything about it now <laughs> this one is wild it means that she has been with a lot of people and she knows a lot of tricks now to be a, a master at anything you need to have practiced a lot of times to be able to know that she has done a lot of this okay it's not because she's just a professional at talking about it or you know giving out tips and all of that but like when it's the game it's the game she is a mastery at this like bro could be a sign that she has had a lot of experiences or she has had a lot of men another way to know is if her head game is the best like if her head game is on point and i'm stressing on this because only a few percentage of women really actually do know how to give head honestly i'm telling you if she's giving you that that thing that head and it is blowing your mind and she's not stopping she's not feeling weak on her wrist her mouth is not getting tiring she knows how to lubricate she knows how to use both hands she knows how to swallow and do everything that it could be it could just be because she has done it once too many times that's why so it's one way to know that this girl who is a pro at this might have had too many men now we are not judging here we are just stating facts and it could could not be a hundred percent but like yes it's one way to know that this girl you're with or this particular girl is an expert or she has had too many experience or she has had too many men another way to know and this will be my last point that a girl has had too many men is she's very cool with one night stands yes now, i save this for the last because i know how it can be so if you are into a girl who is clubbing or you're always picking at girls from the club and you pick this girl and she's down to have a one night stand immediately it means that she's okay with any and everybody okay it's not because you're special it's not because you bought her a drink it's just because she's it's a normal thing for her so if it's a normal thing that she gets down with any guy and it's a one night stand and she's fine with not having any strings attached it could mean that she she has just had too many men because imagine how many one night stands is she having how many has she had okay so this is one way to know that a girl has had too many men in her life apart from the loose vagina that a lot of you usually speak on and also a lot of men also say when her boobs has fallen sometimes it's not entirely true it could just be that that's how her body is so you need to you need to pay attention to other things at, like i have just mentioned in this video so that's the end of the video for today on science to know that a woman has had too many men and this might not be a hundred percent like i said it's good to get to know a woman really personal before you begin to assume that they've known too much it could just be that she has had too many knowledge because she has done her research and she has done proper reading so don't judge people until you get to know them i will see you in my next video make sure you check out that next video because it will be really educative as well as entertaining you already know how we do it here and don't forget to like and share this video as always and let us keep the community growing and blossoming as usual so i will see you next time keep living life keep being champs and bye for now Mwah.